In this video, I'd like to show you how to make this typewriter effect in Premiere Pro. There are multiple ways to do it, but I'll show you my favorite method. First, make sure you have After Effects installed, otherwise you'll get this error. And if you use, let's say, Premiere Pro 2024, make sure you have After Effects 2024, not 2025, otherwise it won't work. So I typed in my text in Premiere, and to apply the typewriter animation, right-click on the text layer, then choose Replace with After Effects Composition. It's gonna open After Effects and ask us to choose a location to save the project. Hit save and here's our composition. Double click on it, select the text layer, and then in the effects and presets panel search for typewriter. Apply it, then select the text layer and press U on the keyboard to see the start and end points of the animation. Now, if you wanna animate this at a specific time in Premiere, what you can do is nest the composition and when we open it, we can see that the time resets so that the time in the Premiere composition matches the time in the After Effects composition. And as we play our Premiere Pro video, let's say I wanna make the animation stop right here. I just double click on the nested sequence, check the time. It says two seconds and 10. Switch to After Effects and navigate to the two seconds and 10 mark frame by frame and move the endpoint keyframe right there. And now in Premiere, our animation stops right when we wanted. Now that you've learned this, don't miss the video on the screen that YouTube is recommending just for you. Thank you and see you next time. This is Creative Society.